the Helmholtz Diabetes Center has experienced one very successful first phase, namely characterized by the fact that many people had to be recruited, that we had to define topics that we're going to work on in the future. And I think now it's time to really think about the next phase. So the question, what do we do in the future and how do we move diabetes research forward, not only in Munich, but of course also in Germany. And I do think there are two main aims that we should follow. One aim is going to be to increase our translational impact. We have a number of compounds, of mechanisms, of new targets identified in the past that are now ready to go from preclinics to the clinics, and I think we should expand on this. And the second thing is to make sure that also diabetes research benefits from all these new technologies that will join the Helmholtz campus by the Helmholtz Pioneer campus. I think there's lots of um, potential for synergies between all the new colleagues bringing in really advanced and end stage disease, um, technologies and, and techniques. And I think the challenge is going to be to really merge these things and make them applicable to diabetes research. And having that said, I think we are by now in Germany the largest accumulation of diabetes researchers in one spot. And of course, we do have our satellite locations in other cities in Germany reaching out to the clinics in particular. So I do think whatever we do here in Munich will have an immediate impact also on diabetes research in Germany. Again, I think focusing on, at the end of the day, of the benefit of the patient by trying to further push and increase our activities on trans in translational research, diabetes research, to really have new therapies available for diabetes, and at the same time to make sure that we also apply the most advanced technologies in diabetes research. And I think that's a unique chance that we now have here on the Munich campus.